So this is a video on how to convert a RTC machine that is set up for the dome targets using the curved arm uh, system. So right now this machine is set up to throw the dome targets and we're wanting to convert it to throw the rabbit targets. So we'll need to uh, replace the arm that's on it now with this arm. The tools that you'll need are quarter inch drive, a 3 8 wrench, half inch wrench, a 9 16 wrench, and a 3 quarter wrench. The first thing we're going to do is semi decock the machine so that it's safe to work on. So you will need to come to the controls, hook the machine up to the battery, and you're going to turn the toggle switch up and it's going to cock the machine. And then you're going to push the toggle switch down. And that fires it, but it doesn't recock itself. So now it's in the semi-safe position, and we're gonna unhook it from power. And so this allows us to move the arm and be able to push on it, and the machine won't fire because it will run into this crank of the motor. So at this stage, I'm going to take this uh, arm off with a half inch wrench, uh, loosening these nuts and bolts. So now we've got these bolts loose. We're going to take this arm off and replace it with the rabbit arm. Make sure that you've got it orientated correctly to where this poly strip right here is going to be towards the inside of the machine. That's the drive rail for the rabbit target. So now we're simply just going to screw this back on. Okay, now that we've got the arm back on, we're going to tighten those two bolts. You want to tighten them tight. You don't want to over tighten because you don't want to strip the aluminum thread, but just get it nice and tight. Okay, so the next step uh, you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, get a target up inside the, uh, the launch plate here. And you're going to want to pull out on the guide finger and put this target inside there and have it rest on the, the guard finger. So basically we're just wanting to hold the target there then we're going to move our, our fence here. These two uh, stainless steel plates, they, this is what sets the tension on the target to make sure when it comes down the chute that it doesn't fly out. So we're going to have just barely some tension with these plates when we adjust using these screws it's going to screw in and out. So you can notice when I adjust these plates in via these screws, you'll see this walk out to the target. So now that just moved and it's closer to the target and you can see how it's pushing the target flat to the plate. And that's what we're looking for. Um, I'm going to adjust the bottom one now and make sure it's touching that rabbit target. The, the dome targets obviously are, are thicker than the rabbit target, so that's why these were out. So th it's doing the same uh, thing to a dome target, but since this is a thinner target, we got to move them in. And it's just, you want, you know, some light pressure on the, on the target with these. Uh, it's just enough so that they will hold the target. You don't want them so tight that the target can't drop and get down in the chute. So now I'm just going to tighten those up with a 3 8 wrench. And you may have to go back and, and adjust these just to make sure you got the right tension in a sense of if you see it getting stuck and hanging up, then you want to loosen them so that target can just shoot right down in there. So now that we've brought our fence in, uh, we can now need to adjust our pinch block here. We need to move it in slightly. On the rabbit targets, you have this uh, 
there are two different edges basically. So when it's when it's on the plate like this, it brings this edge out a little bit further than if it is like this. So we need to bring this arm in uh, because it's just a different spacing of the how the targets are between the dome and the rabbit. And then when you flip the rabbit upside down, uh, you're gonna have the different spacing. So we wanna kinda be able to use this rabbit arm to have the drive be almost in the middle of it. Um, if, you if you don't adjust this block in a little bit, the when you have an upside down target, it's just that, that drive rail on the arm is just gonna be rubbing on that outer edge and it could slip behind it and you're gonna get a funky looking target when the machine fires. So I'm just gonna loosen this with a 9 16 wrench and bring in this, uh, this, this pinch block towards the clutch just a little bit, about a quarter of an inch. So making sure your machine's still in that semi-decocked position, now I'm going to, to push the arm down a little bit and you know, I'm still looking here. I'm still safe. It's, if, it, if it fires, it's gonna run into that. Um, but I need to push that arm in more to the cock position so I can get to this nut using, or this bolt using the 9 16 wrench. So now I'm just gonna loosen it. So now I got that bolt loose. You don't have to take it out, just get it nice and loose. And now with that three quarter wrench, we're just gonna put that three quarter wrench in between the, the plate here and the, the, the pinch block. And we're just gonna push it just to slide it ever so slightly. Uh, it's a little under a quarter of an inch that I slid it. And so that's gonna, you, you'll notice you go too far if you're hitting this uh, block right here, the, the target finger. If, you're, if your uh, pinch block is hitting that target finger or rubbing on it, you went too far. So I have just enough gap here where, where that's going to be able to freely move. We don't want the pinch block to run into that, that block. So um, I'm actually just gonna come back just a little bit more, give me a little bit more margin of error. Okay. So now I'm just gonna tighten it back up. And this will tighten on that shaft, on the main clutch shaft, and not move. Okay, so now that you've got all that adjusted, we wanna check uh, how the target's firing and feeding into the, the chute. So when the when the target machine cocks, that target should drop right in there and not get hung up or anything. It should just shoot right in that chute and the arm come around and then fire in your rabbit target. And so if you're seeing it feeding and everything and everything's looking good, you also want to make sure what your rabbit target is doing. Uh, if you notice it's breaking targets on the fire uh, or uh, it's just coming off and not getting a lot of spin and momentum on the target, you probably need to adjust your, your throwing arm on that block either a little bit more in or out. Um, so. Right now we've got a, a nice south wind blowing pretty hard and we're coming out straight but then the wind takes it and pushes it off to the right.